Hello, 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 and welcome to my queendom, and happy Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday today. So I just come in here to share something that happened this morning. So um, as it is Sunday, it was me who was leading a prayer, right? Uh, when you lead a prayer, it's literally like 30 minutes tops. Well, it is 30 minutes. And um, you have to be giving prayer points and all that. And uh, normally what I do, if I know that I'm leading the prayer, I go to the Father and I want to hear his mind instead of talking just my own thoughts or according to my flesh, you know. Obviously, we do say things and things are going to happen. And then now you, you are there in front. You want to prove a point to whoever. So normally I don't do that. I go to the Father and I just want to hear what he's going to say. And sometimes he speaks earlier early on in the week and sometimes he doesn't speak at all he's gonna speak as soon as i start to worship on the altar and what happened was this week he's been he started speaking i think on wednesday or thursday and it was like he was pressing on my heart about repentance 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 and i'm like oh well at first i thought okay i'm just you know remembering the message that my pastor has been preaching for the past two or three weeks i think for the past month or so and it's something that I'm passionate about when it comes to winning souls it's like I love it I love it I love it when people like come to Christ I love it when people repent I love it when people like realize okay this lifestyle is not it and I need to change so you know message of repentance just makes me excited and so I thought oh well it's probably I'm just busy you know going through the message that uh, my pastor has been preaching so that's what is in my head but then it kept on coming and then I also had a dream about it I had visions about it and then I realized okay the Lord wants me to pray about this on Sunday and um, what happened when I came from work on Saturday yesterday I you know prayed and then went to bed just before midnight and I'm thinking oh well I wake up at half seven eight o'clock tops and so sleeping midnight that's gonna pull me throughout the night and guess what four o'clock I was up and I'm like okay I'm up okay use the bathroom and now I'm trying to sleep I cannot sleep and I'm like I didn't even go to the father like okay there is there anything you want to say I was like no I need me my sleep and honey the sleep did not come and then I took, uh, I texted my sister who lives in Botswana, and then I texted my sister who's in Cape Town and just sent him the message. I can't sleep, my sleep is gone. And then, as soon as I finished texting my sister here in Cape Town, I just felt in my spirit he, he was telling me to pray for today's service. I prayed for uh, the service of today, though I knew that it was gonna be me who was gonna lead prayer, I was gonna do that as well at church but then I obeyed and then I did that and then I uh, received you know some prayer points to go and at church and then when I went to the altar <laughs> guess what I did I closed my eyes I worshipped for the whole 30 minutes and then when I got up I'm like time is gone and then it was already late and I'm like oh my god Lord I didn't do this but I felt so much peace in my spirit i felt his presence it was so real and that made me excited i'm like okay lord i i didn't do what you asked me to do but at least i did i worshiped you and the whole is like i was still so soft i just wished if only it was longer because when it comes to worship i wish i can just worship forever and ever and ever and ever and then just you know but then it's a church obviously there's programs and then there's uh time and guess what because god is a god we cannot you know box him what happened was exactly the prayer points that he had given me and i didn't give to his people that's exactly what it, he gave to my pastor and i was like ah still the same message well conveyed and i was so excited i was like oh my god so God went on to talk exactly, including the scripture of Matthew, where he said, seek first the kingdom of God. He had given me that scripture and my pastor touched on it. And I was like, wow, the Lord is really like, when he wants to speak to his children, he's going to speak. And I was so excited. And the prayer point was just that, ask for the grace of God, you know, to help 
us repent and to help us you know to keep us in his house and everything was just it's like everything that he has told me to do and i didn't do because i go to the altar and then i close my eyes i worshiped over time even um everything my pastor did it and i was it's like until now it's like my heart is just so full of joy and of course i had a little guilt you know like oh father i didn't do what you said i was doing but still when i saw my pastor doing everything it's like it was like everything to the t like the scriptures the prayer points the i was oh my goodness so i just had to share this because <sighs> y'all god is alive god is alive god is so real god is so real i I know he's real. I've always known he's real. But today, it's like he just proved to me on a different level altogether. Like, wow. Today was just so, was just so different. I was just so, I still feel, oh, I'm excited. But I, I did feel a little bit of guilt. Um, but because if you are in christ you know that the moment you feel condemned is definitely not the father it's the enemy telling you okay you failed what your father told you to do you didn't do it but then because i didn't do it he still used my pastor to do the same thing that i was supposed to do and i was so excited because um i didn't know that my pastor was gonna continue with the repentance message so when now the time was gone and then I realized, okay, my time is up and I didn't give this prayer points. I felt like, oh my goodness, the people that he wanted to talk to, they've missed it. But God being God, when well, he want to do something, huh? he does it. And that's exactly what happened. So I'm just sharing this, that yeah, there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ. And i after the lord had done all that and he he made me so happy and i felt so i felt something and I, i'm still feeling it but i can't really explain how i feel but i just feel something I, I feel something. i'm just so excited so tell you what you need to give your life to jesus christ if you haven't and like the lord is so real he is so real like his realness, like Lord, the Lord, the Lord is just so real. When we speak about repentance, there is people who say, "Say, oh no, they they would want to live in sin because that's how they are." Hey, us in our lineage, that's how we are. We don't take rubbish, or oh, that's who we are. Like you can't be in Christ and still do the worldly things just because that's who you are because if anything that is in the scripture the fruits of the holy spirit is not what you're producing then definitely is the it's from the other spirit it it's not from the father and don't even deceive yourself when it's time to repent you just have to kneel down and repent yeah. lord i know i know i'm doing these things and um I don't want to continue to do it because uh, death is imminent and as much as we pray that I'll not die before my time and um, as much as we pray those prayers when time is up we we'll have to go and untimely death doesn't mean that I can't die at the seven I can't die for I can die at that time and it could be a very much timely death and people will be like Oh no, um, untimely that means I can die young. You can't, you can die young. And that'll be your time. So, um, death is imminent. All you have to do is just stay prayed up and uh, ask for the grace to always be in Christ and um, not to, you know, lose our faith because a whole lot of stuff is happening. Um, I love the book of Matthew 24. The chapter is just giving us a breakdown or must i say the events of the things that's going to happen when um 
the world when the father is about to come and whether he comes or you go one thing is certain there will be no more us on this earth and we are just visitors here we are passing through so i'm not as in you know i'm a citizen of heaven i'm just passing by i was born in sin but i hail from zion so i just come here just to share i don't really want it to condemn me wanted me to feel horrible but the lord being god he just did everything that he told me to do and i didn't do it for my pastor because i mean he could have told my pastor to preach another sermon and to do something totally different oh my goodness i don't know how i would have felt um probably wasn't gonna go to church next week yes because the devil is good like that he's gonna condemn you until you feel like okay you're not worth it you you are a mess and all that obviously i have to like pray to the father you know to say sorry i didn't do that but um still when i was in his presence and worshiping i was feeling he was there and he was like my baby continue and 30 minutes just went like 15 minutes i'm telling myself oh well probably it's quarter past let me get up now and give prayer points and tell you what it was 29 past all right let me just love and leave you you have a lovely week ahead and april coming up oh easter coming up well easter coming up all right Bye-bye.